Hi, and welcome to my series of tutorials on how to use an analog camera. Now, in this first video, I'm going to show you the most basic, but also one of the most important aspects of using an analog camera, which is how to load film into your camera and how to unload it. Now, if the film isn't loaded properly, you won't be able to take any pictures. And equally, if it's not unloaded correctly, the film could be exposed to daylight and all your photographs ruined. So it is very important. Now, I'm going to be using my beloved old 1964 Nikon F. All cameras have slightly different ways of doing things. So I strongly recommend that you refer to the user manual for your specific camera. Now, if you bought it secondhand or you uh, inherited it, or however you came by this camera, and it didn't come with a manual, you should be able to find one online and download it usually for free, and it will be very, very useful. So, loading and unloading film. When you take your film out of its box and the canister, you'll find a cassette with a tongue of 35 mil film sticking out. Now, essentially, the film is pulled through your camera one photo at a time, and then wound back into the cassette at the end so you can take it to your darkroom or to your local photo lab technician to have it developed and printed. Now, for most of my black and white shots, I love using Ilford FP4 film, which I think you can get worldwide. So the first step is to make sure there's no film in the camera already. If you open it and there's a film in there, you'll expose that film to daylight and ruin it. So to check there's no film already in the camera, make sure that the, this is on the Nikon F, that the advance rewind or A to R ring is set for film advance and not rewind. Press the shutter as if to take a photograph and then push the film advance lever while checking the film rewind crank handle. If the handle doesn't move, either the, film, the camera's got no film in it or the film is safely back in its ca cassette. So the next step is to open your camera. On this Nikon, there's a little lock unlock key on the bottom. Simply turn the lock and slip the back off. Some other cameras, like my friend's Canon here, have a hinge where the back just swings open. Again, refer to your camera's manual for the exact button to press on your camera. film is at the bottom. There's actually only one way it'll fit in on the left hand side. Thread the film into the sprockets and into the slot on the spool, like so. Oops, he messed it up that time. Then press the film advance lever once or twice and see that the film is moving along the sprockets. And then to close the camera, put the back on again and turn the lock the other way to make sure the camera stays shut. Now double check your film is going through. Press the shutter button to fire off a shot. Then wind the film on and check that the film rewind crank handle is moving, should do a turn. If it doesn't move, it means the film hasn't been caught properly by the spool. Uh, I sometimes even triple check in the middle of a shoot it's better to waste one frame than find your whole session hasn't gone through the camera. It can happen, does happen. Now, if the film hasn't been caught properly by the spool, you'll have to open up the camera again and reposition the film in the sprockets. Now, when you come to take the film out of your camera, here are the steps. Again, the mechanism will be slightly different on each type of camera, so please refer to your specific camera's user manual. Here's how you do it on my old school Nikon F. You turn the A and R ring button to R for rewind, then lift up and turn the film rewind crank handle. Now you should feel a slight resistance as the film is being pulled back into the cassette. And at a certain point, you should hear a faint click as the tongue of film gets released from the spool. When you're happy that you've rewound the film, Turn the lock the opposite way, 
open the back of the camera and take out the film cassette. You're now ready to head to your dark room or to hand the film to your processing lab to have your photos developed. After a few goes, you'll be able to do all these steps without even looking. So enjoy and join me next time for another tutorial from the list.